Hey guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter three, lesson eight. We are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so for the first six of them, you actually don't need to know what the numbers are. You just need to know what the signs are. So you have a plus and a negative. Negative, negative, plus, plus, negative, plus, plus, negative, negative, plus. Okay, so all you need to know is everything on this paper, okay? Oh, let me move it over just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so let me zoom out just a little bit here, guys. Okay, so if it's in quadrant one, plus plus. Quadrant two, minus plus. Quadrant three, minus minus. Quadrant four, plus minus, okay? Guys, take a picture, do whatever you need to do to be able to remember this paper. Okay, this is going to help you get through a bunch of this chapter. Okay, so we're going to look at number two. It says minus minus. Well, right here, minus minus is a three quadrant. Three or actually, it, sorry, it wants you to do the Roman numeral. Okay, all right. So plus plus. Well, that's quadrant one. Boom. Okay, minus plus, minus plus quadrant two. Okay, plus minus, plus minus quadrant four. Okay, and minus plus quadrant two. Okay, now this says the two points are reflected of each other across the x or y axis. So identify the axis. Okay, guys. So this one means that if I folded it, boom, or top to bottom, we need to decide which axis it is. Okay. So the ones that are opposite are the x axis. Okay. But that means that it's reflected on the y axis. Okay. These go x. Y. So this means that if we folded it, the Y axis is the one that would reflect. Okay. All right. Now, the negative sevens are the same. So it's reflected, or sorry, it, the numbers that are different are on the Y axis. That means that the X axis is the one that it reflects on. Okay. Go for the one where the numbers are the same. Okay, so this is the x axis, this is the y axis. Okay, the ones that are identical, it's that axis. Okay, do you see how y axis? Well, the y axis is three and three, same. Okay, one, negative one, so negative seven, negative seven. Okay, those are the same. Okay, those are on x. Okay, negative two, negative two, those are both on x. Okay, that's the axis, okay? Give the reflection point across the given axis. So on the y-axis, that means that it's gonna be this one. So that one's gonna stay the same, okay? Which means it's gonna be six comma negative 10, okay? On the x-axis, that means this one's gonna stay the same. So it's gonna be negative 11, negative three, okay? Okay, x-axis, that's gonna stay the same. Eight comma negative two, okay? The town's post office is located at the point seven comma five on a coordinate plane. In which quadrant is the post office located? Well, those are both positive numbers. It's gonna be quadrant one, okay? Positive, positive, quadrant one, okay? The grocery store is located at a point on the coordinate plane with the same Y coordinate as the bank, but the opposite X coordinate. The grocery store and the bank are reflections of each other across which axis? So same Y axis, same Y coordinate, which means Y. 
Okay, y axis if you want to be perfectly clear. Okay, y coordinate, same y coordinate. Okay, that's the key. Same one. All of these stayed the same, okay, on the axis that they wanted. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to flip it over. You guys are going to do one and two on the back on the lesson check. And we are going to go to our review on number three. It says small juice bottles come in packages of six, yogurt treats come in packages of 10. Paula wants to have the exact same number of each item. How many bottles of juice and individual yogurt treats will she have all together? How many packages of each will she need? So we are going to find out how in the world okay so the smallest number that six and ten both go into is 30 okay six times five is 30 three times ten is 30 so 30 packages okay now six times five packs of yogurt and oh nope sorry ah juice and three packs of yogurt Sorry, not 30 packages, 30 of each. Goodness, Miss Leah cannot get it right today. Terminology is all sorts of off. Okay, guys. Allison saves $29.26 each month. How many months will it take her to save enough money to buy a cereal for $339.12? So I'm going to grab my handy dandy scratch paper. So, oops. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Now I'm going to write the right number on my scratch paper. Guess it's not just the terminology, huh, guys? So, 3, 3, 9, point, 1, 2, by 20, oh, 29, 26. Now, here's the thing. The decimal point was here, but we can't have a decimal point outside of the box. So, 1, 2 places, 1, 2 places. Now the decimal point is here, and I'm going to put it straight up, okay? All right, so I don't happen to know my multiples of 2,926. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write a couple of those down and hope that it gets us where we need to be, okay? Actually, let's just wing it for just a minute. So I'm gonna guess that it's not gonna go into three, it's not gonna go into 33, it's not gonna go into 339, and that it's probably only going to go into 3,900, or sorry, 3,391 one time. I'm going to subtract, okay? One cannot take away six, so I'm going to borrow one, making that 11. 11 take away six is five. Eight minus two is six. Three cannot take away nine, so I'm going to borrow. 13 take away nine is four, okay? Now, 465 is definitely less than almost 3,000, so I'm going to bring down that two, okay? I'm also going to guess that I can still only go into that one time. But just in case, yep, okay, so two is 2,926 times two is 5,800. 52, so that's going to be way too much for this, so we're going to go 1 again, okay? So, 1 times that, 2, 9, 2, 6, subtract, 2 cannot take away 6, I'm going to borrow 1, making it 12. 12 take away 6 is 6, 4 take away 2 is 2, 6 cannot take away 9, I'm going to borrow 1, 16 take away 9 is 7, and 3 take away 2 is 1. So, it just wants to know how many months, so, we are going to say you can't have 11 point something months. That means that since there's still money left over that she has to raise, we're going to say 12 months. Okay? It's going to be 11 point something 
but we're going to say 12 months. Okay? All right. Write down your work. It's important. Okay. The library is 1.7 miles directly north of the school. The park is 1. Point, or sorry, 0. 0.6 miles directly south of the school. How far is the library from the park? So here's another one of those where if we both start at zero, one walks that way and one walks that way, okay? That means that we have to add those, not subtract them, okay? We're not trying to find the difference. We're trying to find out the total distance, okay? So 1.75 plus 0 0.6. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a zero there so that I know that my columns are lined up. I'm going to drop my decimal. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 6 is 13. Carry that 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. And that is mile. Okay? Okay. Tours of the art museum are offered every third of an hour starting at 10 a.m. The museum closes at 4 p.m. How many tours can be offered each day? Well, in each hour, there are going to be three 20-minute periods. Okay? That's why it's one-third. Okay? So there's going to be three of those each hour. Okay? So three each hour. And we're going to go from 10 to 4. So 10 to 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that's six hours. 18 tours. Okay, there you go. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 3.8. Come on back for 3.9. See you guys soon.